out of focus. New year, but still out of focus. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Or when, is it Tuesday? Uh, yeah. Happy Tuesday, and happy first vlog of 2023. I have put up other videos, but... <laughs> In case you only watch vlogs, I don't know if I have anybody on my channel that only watches the vlogs, but happy new year if I haven't said that to you yet. But we're having a lovely day today, so it's like, let's, well, I mean, I guess we can only try to have a lovely day, <laughs> but I thought I'd pick up the camera and start a new vlog, but um, it's been raining here a ton, and today is our first day of not, no rain. Oof. <laughs> today is our first day of no rain and there's no more rain on the forecast. So there's some stuff we wanna do in the yard, in the garden. So we're gonna to go to our favorite garden center. We're gonna to go to our favorite Chinese restaurant because Milo slept in so we can have an early lunch out. We never get to go out to lunch anymore. Um, oh, I forgot earrings, oh well. But yeah, I just thought I would bring you along. Of course, my battery is flashing. So while we're out, I'll vlog on my phone and charge this. Milo's reading, good boy. But yeah, I just thought I would start a new vlog. Happy 2023, everybody. Okay. Hey guys, it's later on now. Didn't vlog at all on our outing. Just didn't even think about doing it. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Amy's been napping. I took a nap. It was glorious. I had a great nap. Um, now I'm gonna plant some potatoes. Bradley's been trimming this tree. My hat's been on the floor of the closet for months and now it looks weird, but it's blocking the sun. Um, but I have a bowl of potatoes. Basically, if you have a potato that goes bad, you can just stick it in some soil and it'll grow. Hopefully, that's the idea. Um, I've planted it twice before in all different times of year. My first time was during this time of year and then I harvested around March. So I'm hoping, it might be a little later than that, but um, I had a better harvest that time than I did in the summer. So I'm hoping it works out. But yeah, just gonna plant these up. Now we're working on a bulb project. We just uprooted the avocado tree because we got a pot for it, but we need some more soil. I know it's late to be planting bulbs, but we live in California and according to the internet, it's better to plant them in January. So I'm gonna create a little bulb garden here. here. You want it where it is. I wanted it where it is. I guess that wasn't smart, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, so right now we're gonna do alternate rows of- Alternate. Alternate? You said alternate. Al alternating rows of these two different types of daffodils. So pink charm and replete. So I'm very excited. I bought an auger thing where you attach it to a power drill and you could just I drill. I didn't know it either until I watched garden videos. You just drill a hole into the ground, but I think this will work best if we just dig a little trench. And Bradley's mom told me if I do them deep enough, she said, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 my everywhere. goodness. She said six inches or more, they'll just come back up every year. Planted the potatoes, I have a few left over, but also our celery is so happy after the rain. Our Ludo is so happy after the rain, because he's outside again. He's got a frisbee right now, which he's not supposed to have. I'm just gonna take that. Oh, he's actually gonna let me. I won't actually take it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Milo is waking up, but we're gonna try to get these in the ground real quick. And by we, I mean mostly Bradley. So I'm into puzzles at the moment, and I did this puzzle from this really cute um, like set that Bradley's grandma got me for Christmas, and I had such a fun time, but I think it's defective because these two last pieces do not fit at all. And I know she told me she got it from Home Goods, so maybe it was like a defective print or something, um, but it's so unsatisfying, so, so unsatisfying. I have tried everything. You can look, the rest of the tree looks right, so I don't think I got anything wrong, but it's driving me nuts. <laughs> but now I wanna do another puzzle. I have this set that I've had for a while. I think I'm gonna do the tangled one next. Okie doke, it is later on now. I just made this tortellini soup. I mentioned this in my Costco haul, I'll link it up in the corner, um, but it's a recipe we saw on TikTok. And so we're gonna try it out. I haven't actually tasted it yet. Let's do it right now. Ah, 
Are you playing peekaboo with Ludi? <laughs> Gentle. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> no, okay. Hi you guys, good morning. It is now the following Tuesday. I don't even know when I was vlogging last. I don't know what day it was. But it's the following Tuesday, I think. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. But we are about to take a family trip to Target. Milo's got his cardigan on. We're gonna go to Target. I would like to decorate for Valentine's Day today, so I'll share that journey with you. Yeah. Yeah. He's so chatty now, it's very cute. He's not saying anything. I mean, I'm sure he's saying something. I just can't understand it yet. I'm sure there will come a time where he says something in complete gibberish, but I understand him and I can't wait. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're about to head to Target. I need to get his stuff ready and then we're gonna decorate. Okay, we're back now. I'm just having a little bit of lunch. I used to make this all the time. I'm kind of in a rut of lunch ideas and I'm like trying to remember things I used to make. Um, this was, I think in my very first HelloFresh box ever, it was some sort of like arugula ricotta flatbread. So it's basically a little flatbread, some ricotta, salt and pepper, obviously some shredded chicken in there, um, almonds, arugula, and then I'm gonna top it off with some balsamic glaze. Thought I'd show you this part cause it's satisfying, but I'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and do this with the other. <laughs> But here we go. Oh yeah, so good. So that's lunch today. A canker sore like up there and I feel like my <laughs> I feel like my mouth isn't moving properly oh I never get canker sores anymore after um, pregnancy but I have one right now anyway I just made myself a giant glass of ice water full transparency I took a nap this afternoon while Milo took a nap we had an earthquake last night I think around 2 a.m. it wasn't anything crazy I was the only one out of all four of us that woke up I always say four because I include the dog and it was so much so that like I had to go on Twitter to make sure it was an earthquake and not just like the dog rumbling the bed you know but that being said I was sleepy so I took a little nap I'm up now I have a little bit of time um, Bradley is with Milo right now he's leaving to work later I'm going to work in the guest room because it's just been a dumping ground since Christmas. It's honestly embarrassing to show you, but I'll just do it. We have some clothes that Milo's outgrown, some stuff I wanna sell, some like Christmas wrapping stuff that needs to go in the bin, some yarn cards. Um, I don't give Milo all the books that he gets right now because he will destroy them. And so the ones that are like nicer, like thin paper, 
they go up. Right now we're just storing them in the guest room closet um, for now. But yeah, I just wanna sort this out. It makes me grumpy every time I walk past it. We have the vacuum. Milo's little table, which we do want to put in his room. We just need to, it, the, his room's going to be a whole project. I'll share it. I'm a basket of stuff that's donated, to be donated or to be sold. My dad's paintings for me. It's just kind of a mess in here. So I thought I'd share the process. A nice good time lapse of me clearing some of it out. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so my camera died, and this isn't perfect, but it's much better. The vacuum is just gonna be here for a moment. I need to figure out what to do with these. I want to figure out a way to protect them, but also a way to like put them, they're very Halloween specific, so I want to put them away for the rest of the year. Um, my dad says that when he's storing his paintings, which if you don't know, my dad painted these for me. My dad paints things and he made these for me. Um, my Sleepy Hollow Disney situations. He says when he's done with paintings or he has seasonal paintings as well when he's storing them, he wraps them in like brown paper. So maybe I'll do that, but then I still don't, I just really don't want anything to happen to them, you know? But anyway, that's for a plant. We need a plant to go in there. Bed is clear. I want to wash this bedding. I also don't, this is from the Jungle line, which I usually rave about. I do not like the bedding. It's just like, just kind of gross. And over here we have another plant. This lamp was in Milo's room, but it had to be taken out because he was messing with it. So again, I said we're gonna redo his room coming here shortly and we'll figure that out. And then that's my teacup lamp that was downstairs, but also Milo was trying to swing it from the rafter, so it had to go. And then this is a little, I used to keep my printer on this. Now um, it's at the bottom of this shelf thing. So we repainted it white and we're gonna use it as a plant stand. I just don't know where we wanna put it. So it's not perfect in here, but the bed is clear and makes me feel so much better. And I'm gonna work on listing things to sell either on my shop Instagram page or eBay or Poshmark or, you know, offer up so many things, but um, yeah, much better. Did you find your light?
You see it? <laughs> yeah, can we leave it in the ground though? I know you're very strong, but let's leave it. Can we leave it? <laughs> Jeez. Can we leave that in the ground? Thank you. It stays there, okay? We leave it, right? Leave it alone. Found a rock. Happy weekend, it's actually Sunday. I did vlog quite a bit yesterday, but I never, I don't think I ever talked to the camera. I was just taking clips, but I made muffins for Milo. I did some gardening, made some crock pot soup, which was delicious. In fact, I'm still like tweaking the recipe and I'll share it somewhere when it's like done. But it's even more incredible the next day. I had it today for lunch, it was delicious. Bradley's upstairs changing Milo's diaper and then we are headed out for an early dinner at In-N-Out. It is cheeseburger Sunday. My friend Kevin is coming to meet us, so that will be absolutely lovely. I just packed, uh, Milo does eat a cheeseburger now, but I just packed a few snacks until the cheeseburger arrives. So I got the diaper bag ready. Oh, I also, I went grocery shopping a couple of days ago and it looks like bare in here. But Bradley's like, what are we missing that we normally have? And not really anything. So um, I wanted to clean out uh, we went grocery shopping on Friday and then we had to like leave right away so I didn't get to do my full like cleaning and organizing. So we did that today. I washed all the berries, cleaned off all the shelves, got rid of anything that we didn't need, and I started my meal plan for this week. I still need to do the bottom drawers, but everything else looks great working on. I haven't finished my meal plan for the week. I've been trying, we've been trying to be better about food waste. And so don't look at the mess behind me guys, never look behind me. But I've been trying to be better about using up what we have. So I know we have mushrooms that we need to use up, sweet potatoes. So I'm trying to make a meal plan based off of those things. Here comes my family. Let me show you Milo's super cute cheeseburger Sunday outfit that my friend Chassie actually gave to us when we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Can't see. It's just an in and out onesie that says baby fry on it. And now that he can fit in it, he'll be wearing it every Sunday until it doesn't fit. But yeah, we're gonna go have some cheeseburgers. Happy Cheeseburger Sunday. It, this last past week, it was the 12th anniversary of Cheeseburger Sunday. So if you celebrate, happy Cheeseburger Sunday. <laughs> 